Today's video is brought to you by the release of our new Seek a Sleep Supplements. This is our first supplement and it is certainly one of the most impactful things you can do for your training. Seek a Sleep contains some of the most important micronutrients you need to get some better sleep. So check it out at seekastrength.com. Welcome back to He Cleans It and He Squats It with Owen the Fridge Murphy. Today we are going through a series of clean and squat training. So overall, all my training is going very well and I'm quite happy with the progression across most aspects. Now on my cleans, I'm using a couple of different variations that is recommended by Anton. So there it is, pause cleans, block cleans, some power cleans, and of course some full cleans. At the moment, I'm cleaning about three times a week and I'm moving through those variations. Now my least favorite variation is of course the pause clean. I don't know what it is about the pause clean, but even if I'm in very good shape, pausing at that at the knee position just murders me. And you can see I'm not even really pausing at the correct position here. I'm pausing slightly below the knee. Now, the good thing about pause cleans is you're not really looking for development of posterior strength per se. Rather, you're trying to make a certain position reproducible. So when we are doing pause deadlifts and pause RDLs and related movements, we're trying to build posterior strength, of course, but on pause cleans, really what we're trying to do is give ourselves an opportunity to feel out of position. Now, for some lifters, this, of course, will build some posterior strength. And, you know, strength is kind of a nebulous word here. But really what we're trying to do is use the strength we have. It gives us an opportunity to feel out of position and then reproduce this position, hopefully in the full lift from the floor, both in the pause snatch and in the pause clean. Now, sometimes lifters have a hard time pausing at the position, like myself here. The length of the pause doesn't particularly matter, so because it's not a strength exercise per se, it's a technical exercise, and that's where you should approach your pause lifts. So we're always looking for correct positions, a requisite amount of pause time. You're not looking for uber long pauses, you're not looking for five, six second long pauses. You're looking just to pause long enough at the correct position, feel what that correct position should be, and then use it in your full lift. Now, a couple of different mistakes I'm making in these pause cleans is my knees are slightly too far forward on some reps in the start position. So I'm really looking for a closer to vertical shin angle to get my knees out of the way sooner. Secondly, I'm a little bit too slow after the pause and then the turnover. Now, it's not a major issue, but it is something I need to keep working on in the pause cleans. The weight is heading in the right direction, but even if in my best shape ever, I still wouldn't have been very good at pause cleans. And it is something that I will continue to just exploit a little bit. Much better pause snatches, but I need to keep working on those. On to some back squats then. So we're moving on to the moderate volume and moderate weight kind of part of my training now in the squat. So this is 200 kilo for multiple sets of three and we'll be looking to move this average weight of sets of kind of three to five reps up in scale ideally if i had more time i would simply rerun the rta squat program ad nauseum however i am under time pressure and i have a second variable is that i'm trying to regain squat strength as opposed to actively gaining new squat strength so i can somewhat jimmy rig this i can somewhat Take a little shortcut, which I might pay for at some point, and that is up the squat frequency and move through sets of kind of three to five a little bit more aggressively as I recover squat strength. Now, this wouldn't even be possible in and of itself if I hadn't done all of the volume from the road in your squat program. However, I did punish myself and do it, and therefore I've got an opportunity to increase my squat frequency and push my squat a little bit harder to return to where I was. Now, hopefully, near the heavier weights, then I'll have an opportunity to do some sensible programming and push, hopefully, for a new PB. Moving on to the next session, then, we are looking at more cleans. So these are just full cleans from the floor. Uh, using straps and essentially all the lighter working sets in my cleans, really trying to reinforce the rack position. But then on any heavy clean singles from the floor, it's all hook grip, baby. So in this session, I'm wearing my fat man pants because Dara forgot his training pants and I gave him my training pants because he was wearing his jeans and I'm more likely to be able to do my cleans and squats in fat man pants than Dara is in his jeans. But like a good friend, I got on with it. So working up to 
130 kilos for doubles on this session so 120 kilos here a couple of things that could be worked on so contact point is a little bit too low uh, a little bit and i'm talking about the width of the barbell just a little bit too low it needs just a slight higher position to get that center of mass of me and the barbell in nice and close on top of that then i am slightly too far forward with my knees in the start position and as a result then my knees are too far forward as we move through the second pull transition as a result of that then i'm pulling my shoulders back too early and a little bit too upright so things to work on however things are moving in the right direction in that kind of ukrainian clean direction and this clean here this clean session where i worked up to a heavy single was definitely my best my clean has been in a long time so one of the things I've been doing that has been a change in how I kind of program for myself is more working sets at the lighter reps and the lighter weights. So this is something Anton recommends. Even if you're going heavy, you still do quite a bit of volume at those. I want to say moderate, but it's moderate to heavy weights. So you always do that volume. You always get that work in. You always make sure you're feeling good and you're feeling out the positions. It gives you an opportunity to get a lot of extra volume in during the week and not super punishing weights. And it also gives you an opportunity to ensure better quality in that session because you get more warm-ups and you can reproduce quality technique and I'll make some meaningful changes at weights that won't punish you as much. So you can see from here, a lot of different sets at 100 kilos. Now in this particular session, I was focusing on quite a few different technical cues the star position which was vertical shins i was thinking about keeping my hips back as much as possible really keeping my hips back in the extension i was thinking about delaying the contact point and i was also thinking about pulling on there as fast as i could now these were getting better and better every set and until we get to the last set at 120 definitely some of the best cleans i've done in well over a year so this is the second last set best cleans i've done in a long time to be honest in terms of positions and a lot of that is thanks to Anton. Now, you can see great timing there. And when I hit that correct technique, you'll see my timing and bounce out of the bottom is of good quality. Now, if we look at this 120, first one is good, nice timing. But the second set, I was super focused on pulling under aggressively. And when I really focus on that aggressive pull under, it, it really smoothens out that contact. And I feel like I am making a very sharp but very smooth contact point. Here we're moving on to 140, absolutely chuffed with how this 140 moved compared to how it would have moved even a month ago. Now I moved on to 155 for my top set to progress on by about 5 kilos and the camera died. Rest assured I, I got it. It wasn't as good as 140 but it did go up so that's what we're looking for at the moment. Now moving on, on these sets I'm working up to reps at 240 so we're going again a little bit of volume on the way up, so 200, 220 for triples. Now, I did about 12 hours driving in the 48 hours preceding to this, and I experienced something that I've never experienced before. My hip flexor is cramped up so much, and it did something to my lower back, and every time I squatted, I could feel both of my nerves in my hamstring just absolutely aching. They were on fire, and so I didn't do as well as I would have liked on the squat, but there is no time for excuses as it is a progression uh, 240 for a double this 220 for a triple here and progression is progression and we can't always be mad and we can't always have the best progression we ever wanted as long as we're progressing and taking some steps forward progression as long as we're progressing and getting one step forward each time that's all that matters so this 240 for a double technically it's okay barbell move fine but mostly that chest drop is something i'm not ideally happy with and those knees coming back but it's progression. Need to be happy with it as it is going in the right direction. Very happy with my cleans and my jerks and my squats. Packing on some muscle. I'm learning some jiu-jitsu. My training is all going in the right direction. I have plans for later in the year. And that might involve returning to the snatch. But for now, I'm going to keep chucking away at these three lifts. And I'm very happy. I'm very lucky I have some people helping me who is helping me. So hopefully I can transfer some of that knowledge to you guys Thanks for watching, appreciate everyone who watches these regularly and I will keep trying to bring the best training vlogs I can.